What's up YouTube? I'm gonna be working on this 2011 Hyundai Sonata. I did a previous video on my steering wheel controls weren't working. I got those to work. But then on the dashboard, my airbag light would stay on. So I'm actually gonna change the clock spring. I would show you guys what it looked like again, but I've already went ahead and disconnected the battery. I had it disconnected now for about two hours. And here you can see the battery is disconnected. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show what the problem was, but once I start the vehicle and once it started, the airbag light would be on right here. So for starters, I'm making sure the steering wheel is straight. And the wheels are pointing straight. Now it's very easy to remove this um, airbag. It's actually three holes. It's one right here. It's one on the opposite side in the exact same spot. And there's one at the bottom. So I'll go with this one first and you just gotta use a little pocket screwdriver or a Allen key. Stick it in. You're gonna feel the little tab that you gotta push and if you look here you're gonna see the bag pop forward so once I push in you see the bag move it's loose right here same thing at the bottom And this is on the opposite side. You can see the bag is out. So it's completely out. And from here I'm gonna remove the ear bag. Now even though it's been off the battery has been disconnected it's been sitting there for hours I'm still not gonna stand in front of it so I'll stand to the side and you want to disconnect this connector right here and that's the horn take that off so the horn is out of the way now I gotta undo this wire tie get that loose and now these orange tabs you gotta pull it upwards and that's what it looks when it pops out this one is out this one is still in and just unplug that connector do the same on this side pull on pull it upwards unplug the connector and I keep the airbag facing away from me I don't want to face it towards me just in case for some reason I it's not gonna happen but in case some kind of static or whatever so it doesn't deploy and hit you in the face so I keep the airbag pointing away from me and when I place it on the ground or on a table, I face it like so. Not downwards, just face it facing upwards. Now I gotta remove this 22 mil nut. And I went ahead and marked it. You can see I have a mark right here. And then I mark on the steering wheel. Then I put another mark right here and I put it on the steering wheel also and that's just to make sure when I put the steering wheel back on it lines up with this shaft so here I got my 22 millimeter I just got it on my impact gun got that off put that aside now there's a lock washer that's actually left back in there 
I could try to take that out with a magnet but I'm gonna try to get the steering wheel out first so a lot of rocking back and forth banging on it there we go that's the washer now I just gotta get this connector unplug that pull the steering wheel straight out put that aside now I have to take these two covers off and this is the clock spring right here so there's a Phillips head screw at the bottom right here just wanna take that out Phillips head screwdriver here you go Now this top cover pops right off. The bottom one just slides off. And this is your clock spring. Now it has a few tabs, like three tabs. So I'm just gonna try to get a close up shot. So the way these tab works that holds it on is right here you have to push on it and then it pops outwards but before I do that I gotta disconnect this connector. Should be another one right here and this one you put your finger in here and you pull back on it and that's what releases the connector you it's not a push connector you have to pull back on it the white one you just push And you pop that out so now I just gotta push down pop that out up top is pretty much the same thing but instead of push down I just gotta pull up on this tab right here pop that out come on the other side push down pop that out and then the whole clock spring just slides right out. Now, upon taking the old one out and comparing it with the new one, I realized they sent me the wrong one. So I'm gonna have to put the old one back in. But the whole point of this is, if this was the correct one, all you would have to do is just install it and it has this tab right here that keeps it aligned right and once you put it it snaps right in and you install the new one put your steering wheel back on you make sure your steering wheel the lines the markings are lined up however in my case this is the old one has two connectors this is the new one, it only has one connector. So I have to return this and try to get a replacement. So I'll put the old one back in. And it would be the exact same as if you were installing a new one. So I'm just gonna try to catch the reinstallation on camera.
and this gets tightened at around 37 foot pounds I'm just gonna tighten it for now because I still got to go back in when I get the correct um, clock spring so I'm just gonna tighten it down as close as I can to 37 maybe a little bit more And I had a marking on the nut, so I just try to put it back where I had that mark. Don't forget these two connectors at the bottom. And that's that all I got to do now is reconnect the battery and after that it's good to go now please don't forget to like share and subscribe so I got the battery connected so I'm just gonna start it Okay, so it's starting. Now this is the original problem. You could see the light for the airbag. So being that the clock spring I got was not the right one, now I'm gonna have to return it. Hopefully they could send me the correct one or I'll probably just order another one and um, I'll pop that in but the same exact procedure this is the actual procedure for changing the clock spring now please don't forget to like share and subscribe